Hey girl, I want to show you how to do your brows. Two different products, same method. Pencil versus dip brow. I'm brushing my brows out with a spoolie brush. You can get this from your local beauty supply store for $1. And the first method we'll be using is the pencil. Now, I'm using a Ruby Kisses pencil in the color dark brown. This is by far my favorite pencil. The first thing I'm doing is outlining my natural brow on the bottom. And then I'm going to take and outline the top where I want my arch to be. And you want to make hair-like strokes to fill in the sparse areas of your brow. And take a spoolie brush to basically blend all of the product out. I got this angle brush for $1 at the dollar store. And I'm just going to take some concealer and clean up the bottom of my brow and also the top. Now the trick to this is... You want to try to make your arch look as clean as possible. So you want to be careful that you don't get it in your eyebrow hairs. If you do, don't worry. You can just fill it in again with a pencil. I'm using a brush that I got from the dollar store. This was $1. I believe this brush is by Elf. It's either Elf or Wear Wild. Um, I'm taking a brush and I'm blending out the concealer and I'm taking a Q-tip to blend out any remaining concealer that I had left around my brow. I'm taking a spoolie brush, brushing my brows out. I'm outlining the bottom and the top of my brow to create my art. And I am taking a pencil and filling in the areas that are sparse. You wanna be sure that you're making um, like hair-like stroke take that spoolie and you're moving the product when you're when you're using a spoolie brush and that's what I love about it the spoolie brush is my best friend when I'm doing my brows take the concealer clean up the bottom clean up the top be very careful so that you don't get it in your brow hairs like I said it before and take that same brush and blend all of the concealer out this is the finished look using the Ruby Kisses pencil. The second method is dip brow. I'm just using my best friend again, brushing down my brows with a spoolie brush. And we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in the color chocolate. Oh my God, I love this stuff, it's just so expensive. This is $20 at um, Ulta Beauty. And I am outlining my brows, filling them in. I am also using the hair-like stroke, the same way I did with the pencil. Um, I'm just using an angled brush to fill the areas in where they are sparse. And then I'm taking my spoolie brush and brushing it out. Do you see how it moves the product to make the eyebrow look fuller? And then I'm cleaning it up with concealer. This is the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Toffee. And I'm just cleaning it up, trying to get a nice arch. And I'm cleaning up my top. Taking a Q-tip and just cleaning up the concealer. Um, on this part, I made sure that I put all of the steps here. So you can take a picture of it, you can write it down, and when you go and do your brows, this is something that you can have to remember all of the steps. Because I know when I learned how to do my brows, it was really hard, and I basically just came up with a routine, how to do them, and ever since then, I've been following the same steps, and the more you do your brows, the better you will get, so do not worry. I got these cutes from the beauty supply as well. I love how they blend out the concealer and filling my brows in. Cause for some reason, 
Ooh, it's, that brow, that brow is hard to do. So this is the finished look with the brows. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my video. Give it a thumbs up. Yes.